Happy Valentine's Month, everybody. I'm the Sluggers Review, and I'm here today to share with you some of my favorite Valentine's Day episodes from TV shows or even movies. Um, not everything is all lovey-dovey. Sometimes Valentine's Days deal with heartache and everything. So, some episodes will be romantic and lovey-dovey, while others will be very, like sad and heart-wrenching and stuff but love is love it doesn't always come with like you know smiles and giggles and glee you know so i'm here today to talk to you about so weird season two fatten at least i think that's what it's called I'm not really sure this is a mod molly focus episode where which is kind of unusual because normally you know fee is like front and center but fee actually takes a back seat in this episode fee's whole purpose in this episode she's just studying for a test and carrie tries to help her and she's having a hard time studying which i don't know why he's gonna help because he's not exactly the smartest person in the world so basically he tells her look you got multiple choice and there's a system it's like a pattern and everything He's all like, just do like A, B, C, D, and just keep going. And eventually you'll get like 30% right or something like that. And she's all like, 30% is not good on a test. He's all like, look, you got to get what you can get and everything. So basically, <laughs> that is a dumb way of studying. You have to study people. And so, <laughs> like, yeah, so that's what she does the entire episode. But Molly, on the other hand molly is starting to get lonely molly see has not dated somebody and and about like 14 years since her husband died and so it's been a long time and as she's like walking through town she's seeing people couples being happy she misses that a strange and unusual man we see coming out of the water um putting on clothes and walking through town he sees her He's engaged by her as she's singing. The theme of this episode is mer people, mermaids, mermen. And so this man is weird. Like as she is singing and everything, we got like a nice, beautiful song, Origami. Um, they play the whole song. That's what I like about this show. It's like they have music in it as well. And so it's like he's just enthralled by her and he can't stop but staring at her and so like jack can kind of see this and he's not like he's getting a little jealous and stuff he doesn't want his mom with nobody because see fiona was only a baby when her dad died but jack he was well about like i don't know probably like four or five something like that so he was around his dad and he misses his dad too and he doesn't want no man replacing his dad or his mom falling in love with anybody else. You know how that goes. <laughs> and so, like, at some point in time, this man, like, confronts Molly. And he just starts talking to her. And, like, you know, and they start to, like, bond and everything. Um, and Jack can see this. And Jack feels a little threatened by this. And so the dude's name is Lyle. And so, like, at some point, Jack is, like, walking through the hotel. Because they're in Canada right now. And so they're at the hotel. And Jack sees this dude just, like, swimming in the pool. And he's just kind of like, what are you doing here? Because the dude doesn't live at the hotel. He's all like, oh, I just saw this beautiful water. And I just had to swim in it and stuff like that. Then he gives Jack, like, a giant pearl to give to Molly. And so when he gives it to her, they're kind of like, oh, this can't be real. It's like, you know, it looks like too big and everything. But then Fee tells them if you bite down on it, it's supposed to feel gritty. That's how you know it's real. And it does. It's a giant pearl the size of a grape. <laughs> and so it's kind of like Jack is just kind of like, where is this dude from? And who is this man? And, and it's, what's really interesting is that we see this man. His, like we see scales start to like form on his hand when he dips his hand in water the scales go away and so basically in this entire episode it's just him and molly like pretty much just walking around going places talking um she's very like they're, they're, he's they're both very infatuated with each other for some reason he yearns for her because he senses that she is lonely like him 
And he literally tells Jack, like, even you can sense what's coming, but even you can't stop it. So basically, he's telling him he's going to take his mom, but he likes it or not. And so, like, he takes Molly to, like, um, the place where they have, like, fishes and stuff like that, the aquarium. And he tells him that these are his friends. And Molly doesn't really seem to understand, but she just goes with the flow. She assumes that he's, like, a uh, marine biologist or something like that, but... He tells them just look at the like creatures and stuff and and how they like swim in the water and how they look and how they act and and all this other stuff and talk about how things like that represent like love and everything like that and she's like yes I can feel it he's like you can so he feels like him and her are meant to be because she's able to sense uh, you know the things that he was saying about like these fishes and these sea creatures and all this other stuff and it's almost like she's under his spell almost or he's giving off some type of like pheromone right and it's even at the point they they kiss in this episode like it's shocking because this is disney channel this is old school disney channel back when everything was more like well, hey so weird it's not realistic but it's like a realistic type setting with supernatural paranormal type stuff anyway so um they're at the pool again and Somehow he convinces her to like swim in the pool with her clothes on and stuff. And no matter what, she just does whatever he says because she just feels she's feeling this strange connection with him. And so like they're swimming, they go underwater and they like, they kiss. And then all of a sudden she freaks out a little bit because at first she couldn't breathe, but then all of a sudden now she can and everything. And she's not sure what's going on with her, but there is something like going on with her. And she's feeling like this this gleeful happiness, you know. And so Jack, somebody who does not believe in the paranormal, he is starting now to question it. He asked for Fee's laptop and he's searching for this dude. And he's searching all over Canada, all over America. Then he searches all over the world. The only thing that can come up on her laptop is the dude's last name. That has to do with mermaid people, mer people and stuff. And Jack, still not believing in the paranormal, he assumes that this man thinks that he is a merman and stuff. And so, at the end of Molly's concert, this dude takes her outside near the beach and he's all like, like, you know, we're meant to be and you need to come with me and I'm here to take you away. And so she's just kind of like, huh what and then it's kind of because she's just like you know she has kids you know what i'm saying she just can't leave he is now turning full on merman hand his hand is turning scaly as big as puffy um he is transforming he's been away from like the water for a while and so like jack shows up and he tells this dude to get away from his mom and everything but Molly, and then so Molly tells him, you know, I can't leave my family. I barely know you and everything. And it's just like, you shouldn't be asking this type of thing. Well, him and Jack kind of struggle a little bit. And Jack, like, sees his hand, full-on scaly, mermaid, fishy hand. But before Jack can fully process it, he hits his head and falls in the water. The guy goes um, into the water and rescues Jack. He tells Molly, I now understand why we can't be together when I saw you look into the eyes of your son and everything. He doesn't want to take her away from her one true love, her kids, you know. And no matter how much she'll feel for another man, she'll never feel that way because she loves her kids, like, regardless and stuff. And so he leaves her. But then his face starts to turn, like, fishy and everything. She doesn't freak out at all by this. She just literally asks, who are you? And we'll find out why she doesn't freak out later on in the rest of the season and stuff. It has to do with Fiona's father. And so, like, he leaves. And so when Jack comes too, Jack's all like, where's Lyle? And he's all like, he had to leave and everything. And it just ends like that. It's like, he doesn't, like, Jack doesn't question the paranormal no more. Um, which is kind of weird because he saw the hand full on, but since he hit his head the moment he saw the hand, he probably just think he imagined that. And so, like, it's kind of, it's just really sad because it's kind of like this dude had a huge infatuation with her, but he could sense that she's as lonely as him. And so, like, 
he was falling in love too fast. She was desperate to fall in love because she hasn't been with nobody in 14 years. And it's really sad because, you know, she's older and stuff and everybody wants somebody. And it's it's just like one of those like depressing type love story. This episode was very non-Disney channel. There was kissing. There was slight eroticness and stuff. Um, almost stalkery type stuff. And it's like this is how you can tell it was old school Disney channel. Which I prefer. I prefer Zoog Disney over Disney channel. Um, even though I watch more Disney channel shows. The back then the Zoog Disney stuff. Z-O-O-G. Um, they didn't have that many shows, but, um, and they had tons of them in the Disney channel, but I didn't watch all of them. I only watched a few. So it's about the same amount of shows I watched from Zoog and also like Disney channel. And so like, but when it comes to mermaids, it's funny cause like, I do not believe in them. I mean, come on, fish people. Come on now. Um, people would have saw them by now, but back in them older days and like the 1800s and 1700s, People assume they saw them in the ocean because they will be in boats and they will see like a shallow reflection of something with a giant fish, a fish tail, the size of a human and kind of like the body shape of a human. But it was never a mermaid. See, they got those confused with manatees and everything. And a manatee is a giant like sea creature and stuff. And so like... And it's funny because when he was turning to a fish dude, he was kind of almost turning almost like a manatee like almost uh, when it comes to his big puffer hand and stuff. But he had a scaly face like that of a fish. I wish they would have showed him going full on like merman just to see what he would look like and what they could do with makeup and like the CGI. But sadly they didn't go there because this is a low budgeted show and the CGI they had to use for this um, episode probably cost them a good penny and stuff. Now, wasn't that romantic or depressing, depending on what kind of video I just talked about? <laughs> okay, well, happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Bye.